Uh, and if you look at the weekly chart, this thing confirms 45. This thing goes all the way down. Uh, to Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Well, again, you know, it's kind of a it's kind of a rinse and repeat uh, situation. Another, you know, pretty steep day for uh, the bulls. Uh, NASDAQ uh, down about 3%. You had the Dow. Uh, getting walloped by about a 1% S&P down a, a percent and a half. But I, I think today was more of kind of a drop the ball scenario for the bulls than more aggressive selling for the bears. And uh, follow me on this one. So as we all talk about all the time, you know, especially last night in the video, I turned around and I said, you know, the one thing the market doesn't tell you is uh, when it's finally done, when the sellers are finally tired. And I said, they're not going to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, by the way, we're going to rally now. And one of the things and one of the common denominators, every potential turnaround, it doesn't mean it's the bottom, but every potential turnaround has, they get some sort of news, whether it's geopolitical uh, or whether, whether it's uh, financial. In this case, for example, CPI was on deck this morning. And if they start to deflect bad news, you can have a move uh, you can you can finally start getting a little bit of a numbing effect, and eventually sellers get tired, and the buyers start sweeping up and get an orderly rally for a couple of days or so. And the bulls had a chance to do that today. Uh, the, the CPI came out this morning. They were trying to digest uh, all the inflation data, and the market went red right away. When went down right away, and slowly but surely, and I started talking about this uh, at, at the uh, at morning strategy, and I said, hey, listen. There's a shot. There's a shot we go green today because you started seeing a lot of names started kind of moving away from the lows of uh, the pre-market session. I said, hey, this could be one of those days that we get a reversal. You know, there's a shot, right? This is an absolute shot. Uh, the bulls go green. And it almost felt like the bears after selling for, I mean, again, this is now, you know, a very, very good uh, portion of how long we've been below the 50-day moving average. It almost felt like the bears were like, all right, we're gonna take a breath today. Let, let us put our feet up. You know, here's the ball, just shoot it right here. Here's the ball, let's shoot it. And slowly but surely you started seeing, um, you know, very limited resistance in the morning session. You started seeing all these stocks get stronger and stronger and stronger. And then next thing you know, little by little, the NASDAQ goes green in the day, right? But here's the problem. Nothing was moving up with it, right? And the bears were like, well, what are you guys waiting for? Just shoot the ball. Stop dribbling, right? You always tell kids, like, you know, I've been through enough training session with different coaches and trainers and all that stuff in basketball. And they tell a lot of the kids, stop, right? Stop dribbling so much, right? Make a basketball move. Go to the hole, right? Pass the ball. Shoot, but do something. And that's what it felt like to advance the ball. And that's what it felt like the Bears were sitting there today and say, look, it's, we're green. We're letting you have your day, right? Just go, go, go. And it was like that for like 45 minutes, maybe an hour or so. The market was going red to green to red to green. And we were just sitting there and they're like, well, nothing is going up, but they're not really, really going down. You know, let's wait. You know, worst case, it's an inside day from yesterday selling. Worst case tomorrow, we, you know, we were talking about in the webinar, worst case tomorrow, we start, you know, resumption of selling. And, you know, I started putting in all these pivots. I'm like, hey, just in case everything starts coming back in, let's start watching all these pivots. And I, I think the, it was like one of those cases of like the bears looked at the bulls after an hour of going red to green, after red, red to green, red to green. They said, look, if we're not going to shoot, if you're not going to shoot the ball, damn it, we're just going to take the ball from you. And that's exactly what happened. And you started seeing a pretty nasty, aggressive decline that's the most important part is and yes you could accept the sell-off you know on things like you unity software right and stuff like that and upst you know and, and the crap like that that's you know that's that's a that's a growth right growth story and all that but we started talking about you guys remember a couple of days ago and a couple of nights ago's video we started talking about heavy bets on apple remember that the really really heavy bets on apple they were coming for the 47 and a halves they were coming for the 45s they were coming 40s and i said this was probably the first time i saw really really aggressive bets uh being put in on names uh like apple if you guys remember a couple of days ago 
They were coming in for very, very heavy bets on uh, 750s on Tesla. Again, we'll get to individual uh, pivots in a second. But today, right before the really aggressive sell-off, they started coming for, we saw an 18,000 share block being printed for the July 125 puts of Apple, right? That was at one point, it was 25 points out of the money. We started seeing, Tesla started coming in pretty aggressively and they were bypassing the 700 puts. They were coming for the 650s. So the aggressive selling continues. Uh, the bulls still can't, uh, muster any type of traction. Again, it was like a free pass today. It was almost like your wife on your 10th anniversary. It's like, it's like, I don't know if you, you guys saw that episode with Larry David. On their 10th anniversary, Cheryl gave Larry uh, a pass. She gave him like a one-time pass that he can have an affair. That's what the Bears did. They gave you a, like a hall pass, right? That movie hall pass. They give you a hall pass and, um, you know, the Bears said, here you go. And the bulls just couldn't get an erection. It happens. One every four guys has it, right? And that's exactly what happened. Uh, big declines uh, into the close, but more important, big declines into the close on very, very aggressive uh, option flow and volume in the names that started to break down. So let's talk about today. Uh, again, it's very, very tough to kind of spin this, right? It's very, very tough to uh, spin this if you if you are a perma bull. Again, I I know a lot of you guys are just perma bulls and you're just waiting for that opportunity or you're watching your portfolio bleed or you're just, you know, you're just not participating on both sides of the market. And, and it sucks. It, it really does suck. But that, you know, unfortunately, uh, that's kind of being a byproduct of the last six, seven years linear bull market. You felt like there was no reason uh, to trade both sides of the market because, again, at the end of the day, it was all about buy the dip, buy the dip work. No matter what you did, buy the dip was the overall uh, line in the sand and that line was never crossed for more than a couple of weeks and yada 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 here we are and if you look at the weekly view on the QQQs you can see where we are we talked about this whole area here uh, we got a soft landing coming you know around 288 maybe for tomorrow or in the next couple of days again is it possible we rally tomorrow look of course I've been saying this every single day and every single day I'm like waiting for the snapback rally and it's like 40 minutes, 45 minutes later, you see it's not coming and you start you know, looking at the pivots back to the downside. And that's exactly what we're doing here. But uh, uh, 288 is the next area uh, to the downside. And then you start getting into major, major levels here, 270s uh, and then 260s. Again, you can't put the cart in front of the horse, but this is what the weekly view looks like. And again, if you believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply, well, here's the other uh, aspect, stocks trade from demand to demand, to demand. So that's where we are. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, you know, I'm still, what the hell is this? I'm still waiting for Google. I'm shocked Google hasn't cracked yet. Um, there's gonna be a sneaky pivot. The, the, the macro number is still this 2240. I don't know why they held this damn thing up. Uh, it's still 2240, but there's a there's a sneaky pivot for all you guys in the, in the webinar tomorrow. I'll show you guys a very sneaky pivot here um, for tomorrow before that 2240 level. F maybe finally, the damn thing cracks. So uh, let's talk about that tomorrow. Uh, Rivian, if you guys remember, there was a pivot yesterday. They were coming for the 21, uh, 22 and 21 puts. Uh, this morning, they started coming for some more aggressive puts on uh, Rivian. So there was a follow through ahead of uh, the earnings. We'll talk about the earnings in a second. Uh, under 21 sees more selling. They were coming for the June uh, 15 puts ahead of earnings tonight. It traded down today to 18 bucks. First of all, phenomenal move. Uh, here is the pivot on uh, Rivian, you know, I, again, I don't think the, you know, I don't think uh, it matters anymore about the, the earnings. Earnings don't look great anyway. Uh, so here is the $21 area. It snapped the 21, went all the way down, uh, all the way down, excuse me, to the $19 area and started snapping back up. Um, you know, they came out with earnings. They're up, you know, 50 cents from, from the close. Okay, you know, listen, who, who does it really matter, right? Does it obviously even, even matter if this thing tomorrow, uh, goes right on the day and starts taking out today's range. You could see 16 bucks. It will come for the June 15. Uh, puts nothing survives in this tape. Nothing. You'd have to have gargantuan size cojones to beat on a you know to to, to beat on a quarter to to make something like this in a bear market uh, to really work for you. Speaking of bad earnings, look at Beyond. Look at Beyond today. Beyond garbage. This is you know again. I went through my whole uh, non meat phase, right? And I've always maintained, I love like Dr. Prager's and all these other things. 
Beyond Meat tastes like garbage. And I, I'm sorry, it tastes like hot garbage and yada, yada, yada. Hot garbage results on the earnings. Um, what was the other one? Um, the Bro, right? The Bro Coffee. The Bros, they were coming for the $30 puts right before the close. Smashed as well. So you could tell the growth stories, they're shrinking. Eventually, every damn thing will become a penny stock, right? Everything will be a small cap uh, stock the way at this <laughs> at this rate that everything is going on. Anyway, uh, Facebook got destroyed today. Uh, 154.19, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Facebook. Uh, just got just, just shelled, right? Here's the 50... Here's the 5420, went right down to this linear regression line of 188. You know, this thing confirms tomorrow. This thing has room all the way down to 175 going into next week. Uh, VRTX, too thin to trade. It went down like a dollar and it came back up. I stopped watching this thing. Uh, Spotify for experienced traders. It, it triggered close to the uh, end of the day. Uh, 9350 needs to uh, confirm. Uh, close, you know, a couple points down. Um, Spotify, you know, here's, you know, here's spot, here's the 9350. Uh, it closed right at the lows in the 91s. This thing confirms 91. I think there's still a shot at C's 83. Uh, that's that. And can you guess what the definitely the highlight of the day was? Well, there's actually two, but I missed this sucker when I was at lunch. Uh, Tesla, 774. If it builds below, can see 756. And not only did it take out, uh, 756, right? So here's a 756. Not only did it take out 756, it closed below it, trading all the way down uh, to 727. They were coming for the 650 puts. Uh, you have to assume, you know, there's, there's the, the only thing left is 700, right? That's the uh, the February 24th lows. There's really nothing left uh, as far as uh, demand before 700. So we'll definitely keep an eye. Uh, on that for the next couple of days. Again, they bypassed the 700 puts, went straight to the 650s, which was pretty damn aggressive. Uh, Apple, I was at lunch. This thing got smashed. 150 held twice. If it builds below, can flush. And this was the macro area for, for Apple. So it sucks that I missed this thing. But here is the whole 150 area. And it got it got taken all the way down uh, to 145.80s. If you look at man, it's a huge move for Apple. Uh, and if you look at the weekly chart, this thing confirms 45. This thing goes all the way down uh, to 137. Again, keep this in mind, uh, the July the July 125 uh, puts, they bought 18,000 times. So really, really big move. So there should be a follow through tomorrow on Apple and 86.20. There wasn't a second entry on the upside. Stay patient. Uh, Amazon never got there. Uh, as well. So yeah, you had some really aggressive moves down. Um, again, same thing, unfortunately, again, for all you guys who are brand new to trading. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I had some, I've had better news for you guys, especially if you only trade on one side of the market. But this is again, this is where you learn uh, to use both hands, right? Use both feet, both eyes, both ears, because again, you can't just drive the car one way, you have to be able to parallel park, you have to go backwards and all that stuff as well. So the faster you figure out how to trade from both sides of the market, the better your career and the longer your career uh, will build. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the big earnings is a firm. Uh, they were coming with some pretty aggressive uh, puts today. Notably, somebody bought the 30, the, somebody bought the, the, the weekly 12 puts. So they came with like 3,600 contracts. So uh, somebody had a nice bet for uh, tomorrow's earnings. And that's it, guys. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Stay safe. Uh, stay focused. More important, stay in business. Guys, have a great night.